the phosphorescent glow of corpses, the obscene savoury smell of mustard gas, the ordure of dead horses, skeletons pulverised by tank tracks and men bloated with gangrenous subterranean luminescent decay. Clowns stalking the madhouse, vomiting visions of the horror of war. Puppets dangling on piano strings, fat fecal generals pulling pork in a make-believe theatre of a make-believe war. Yet you were the one who lived through it all. A different quiet on the Western Front, stoically German and metaphysically pure. As the deviant corporal went over the hill and into the spasm of the ghost Holy Reich, grooming youth for a new sacrifice, you went on writing, reflecting, and acting, knowing the wind is a reaper of strife. And there you went through Paris Grey, the patriotic resistor subtly enshrining the cold marble cliffs, dispassionately passionate, survivor par excellence, the warrior poet admiring the beauty of beetles while humanity butchered its own.